it was beautiful sunny day, Volvo was running fine, but suddenly it started losing power, bogging down. If you ever run out of gas, you, you know what I mean, vehicle just dies slowly. That's exactly what happened to me and today, Volvo, crank no start, diagnosis, troubleshooting and repair. Guys, if you first time to the channel, please subscribe, very appreciated that. Let's confirm the issue. Okay, I turn my key to the on position and first I'm looking for check engine light. As you can see, my check engine light is illuminating. It means computer is alive. Let's also check that messenger center. If we have any messages, we don't have any related to the stall. And vehicle has been sitting for some time. Now we're going to crank it over and pay attention to that tachometer. As you can see, that needle is moving. Means we are getting crank cam signal. That's good and uh, well i will attack the fuel issue because we know how vehicle died okay let's check the fuel pump prime i will turn key to the on position and we should hear the pump respond and it should prime All right listen to that i will try to make video informative short and simple to understand much as i can okay Let's turn to the on position again and listen for the prime. Well, I cannot hear anything. It means we don't have a fuel pressure. I don't know yet what's wrong when I'm filming. And let's troubleshoot. Okay, I'm not going to use any Volvo Vida dice diagnostic equipment. No OBD scanners, just a simple, cheap $5 test light. That's it. And it means we'll stick to the basic fundamentals. Let's get started. Okay, let's pop the hood and check for the fuel pressure. Volvo has a shredder well on the side of the fuel rail. That's a very, very convenient feature. I really like it. And when you push that shredder valve in, you should see the pressure. The fuel should spill out, but we have none. It's dry. It means there's no fuel pressure in the rail, no fuel present. That's a good indication of failure in the fuel injection or fuel supply circuit. We don't know yet. We'll start with the basic, with the simple things we can check first. All right. And first thing, go and check the fuses. Said thank you, Volvo. Gives us all fuses laid out. And fuse number 33, it's 15 amp fuse. And that's a fuel pump fuse. Let's check the fuse. And uh, yeah, let's pull that fuse out and check the integrity of that fuse. So pull that. And looks like fuse is good. And uh, yeah, let's make it better to see for you guys on the camera. And yeah, as you can see, fuse is good. It's not burnt. And let's put the fuse back. And next thing, we're going to check the power to the fuse. I'm just connected my test light to the ground and let's touch the fuse terminals and as you can see we have power on one side of the fuse and we have a power going to another side of the fuse that's good we know that's not a problem and fuel relay and volvo is a little bit hard to get you need to drop that sam central electronic module to remove the bottom of the dash covers it's quite complex i don't want to do that let's just get straight to the fuel pump i know that's another thing okay right away i have my tip pin connected to the fuel supply power line and as you see blue wire is going to the pump and black is going to the pump as well black is ground and blue is a power and fuel pump is a simple dc electric motor okay i connected my alligator clip to the ground and another end of my test light i'm back probing with the tip pin from that 
power line when i will turn the key to the on position as you can see a light illuminated we had it for a few seconds prime good and light is bright i me means i don't have any voltage drop in the circuit if you see the bright light you have a good circuit electricity flow and we don't need to troubleshoot for voltage drop okay we have a power to the connector we verify that ground is present all right then next thing as you can see i removed everything and i keep my airbag connectors for the seats connected as well want to set that airbag light all right let's disconnect the connector check the for the pins fitment any moisture intrusion any other issues visual inspect the connector and i'm going to back probe at the side of the mail connector and now we're going to check for continuity as i said fuel pump motor is a simple electric dc motor and we're just going to check for continuity make sure the circuit is not open electricity can flow and it means pump is good but we don't know yet let's check it out black wire is let's check our multimeter make sure it's working all right let's just touch at the back side of the connector i'm just slightly touching and there as you can see it's open it's open circuit it uh, means we have no electricity to be able to make a closed loop it's not flowing and it's good indication that is a faulty fuel pump motor that's a simple diagnostics for the that part and i have a electric pump motor for 25 bucks for the junkyard and let's check the good unit and as you can see there is always two wires down to the electric pump motor those like thickest wires are going to the pump and the rest of the wires there for sender units don't worry about those ones okay let's connect our alligator clips and we see the resistance just around the one ohm and we have a continuity that's most important part you see that electricity can flow in the motor windings and that motor is good our pump is failed vehicle has 324k and um, yeah time to replace the pump and that pump has been uh, replaced at uh, i think it's 260 something k and um, yeah okay let's check the straight from the pump pins and you can see we have one ohm pump is good and uh, yeah I have another video how to replace the fuel pump assembly in a Volvo. I put it down in the description. Check the cards. And on any vehicle, almost on any vehicle, if you see those two thick wires, those ones are straight to the electric pump motor. You can probe them if you have a continuity. You can do the easy, simple check. Okay, I pulled the pump out. As you can see, some dirt inside. We'll do the cleanup. And I will make another video how to just replace electric pump and uh, yeah it will save you tons of money and time you don't need to replace the entire pump assembly and spend a half a thousand dollars okay everything's put back tied it up and uh, yeah will be another video check it out description as well and i connected everything as i said keep the airbags connected to just move the seats away and uh, yeah pump connector is connected let's prime the engine let's get a fuel to the rail and uh, yeah it should uh, crank a few times and then eventually it should fire it up there you go sweet it's running it started and that it was a 25 dollars repair and in 10 minutes i tried to show you how you can do it this is just a test light and basic multimeter i love volvos i know you like those volvos too let's make them run forever okay guys thanks again for watching 
take care and see you soon